uh, Natasha here again for lesson five of the week. It's Friday, yay! Nearly at the weekend. So today, uh, great stuff, you're gonna be able to write your poem. So we're gonna, it's gonna write a poem of emotion. That is what we're doing today. So you've looked at year four and five techniques, you've built up a word bank, uh, and I think we're ready, we're ready now to give it a go. So today you will write a poem about excitement. That is our emotion that we're going to focus on. You should already have lots of ideas that you've collected throughout the week. All right, those word banks, all of those details, objects, um, occasions, things that make you feel excitement. You can use this sheet though, this will be in your document, to collect some more ideas, especially for the senses. All right, so seeing, feeling, hearing, touching, smelling. I feel like I did two of the same there. What uh, smells, what uh, taste, what sights, what sounds, and what feels exciting. There we go, I've gone through all five this time. So, think about each sense. They're listed on the sheet, all right? And jot down ideas about how you could show or feel excitement through that sense. There are some examples on the sheet to give you some ideas, just to help you along. So if I was doing this sheet, if I was at home, uh, let's look at, okay, sight. So it's got to be individual to you. You don't have to have the same as your friend. So for me, something that will be exciting is seeing a kingfisher, okay, type of bird. So for me, I might say um, a flash of blue along the river because kingfishers are blue birds and that's sometimes what you see, a flash just as they quickly fly past. So I might say, flash of blue on river. And I haven't done a full sentence, I'm jotting down notes, so it doesn't need to be in full sentences. I can change that when I put it into my poem. Uh, what else, what about feels? What feels exciting? For me, something that feels exciting is the heat of a fire Heat of log fire after a cold walk. That's something that I find exciting. The heat of a heat of a log fire after going out for a cold walk, being able to warm up and snuggle in. So that's what you can do with this sheet to start off with, okay? Then you're going to use Mrs. Barton's poem for guidance, so that will be in your documents as well. She can use that as sort of a, a, a starting point, if you like. You can magpie pieces from that. Maybe you want to use some of her sentence starters. Uh, we'd like a minimum of three verses, please. So here we've got one, two, three verses. We'd like the same from you. You might want to do four, but we'd like a minimum of three. There's an example here for you. Uh, so Mrs. Hamilton's written this one. Uh, excitement is a vibrant yellow that fizzes on my tongue like a sherbet lemon. It's the sight of bonfires burning, flickering bright. It is snuggling into bed early on Christmas night. And if you notice here, we've got those two words at the end. We've got those rhyming couplets, haven't we? So it creates that rhythm and that flow. Now you don't have to do that at all. You might be able to get one set of rhyming couplets in somewhere. You might be able to put them in uh, every single uh, two lines, have both of those lines that rhyme each time. Be tricky, but you might be able to do it. Give it a go if you're feeling up to it. Okay, so I've left this here because I'm thinking, okay, what would I write? What would I put in my poem? So I think I'd start with excitement is, Excitement is, and I'm going to start with that flash of blue that I put in my ideas back there. So I'm going to say a flash of blue along the river. That's going to be one of my lines. Uh, and then I think I'll talk about how it feels. It is, I'm going to start a new line. I'm going to say it's actually, a contraction, it's. Um, and I'm going to say the warming heat. Of a log 
higher after A, and I'm going to say Winter's Walk. And then you could carry on. So you might you'll probably have another line or two within that verse or that stanza. Okay? And that's your task for today, to get that poem written. And we're so excited to see what you come up with. The last thing that you're going to have to do today is there is a success criteria. That'll be in your documents as well. Have a look at that one. Have a look before you write it, I would suggest. Um, look at your structure. Look at the language um, bits that we want you to add in. And it doesn't matter if you don't get them all in but try and get the majority in. And I would say that if you finish and then you go back and you edit against the success criteria, you check, you tick off what you've done, can you get, if you've missed out a few things, can you get one or two more of them in? Maybe you haven't put a simile, maybe you haven't used as or like something else. That would be quite simple to get in, wouldn't it? See if you can get that in there. All right? Okay, fab. So good luck. Um, like I say, we're really looking forward to seeing them. So please send us emails, let us see them. We'd be really, really interested to see what you come up with. Okay, and I'll see you on Monday um, ready for a brand new topic. Okay, thanks guys. Take care, bye.